I am or I am me in Greek ego a me. Does ego a me mean I am God? When you go on Google, which is dominated by Trinitarian sites, they'll tell you that it means the existent one or something that way. But did Jesus claim to be God every time he said ego a me? There are a lot of examples in the Bible where these words are used. So let's go over some verses so you can see for yourself what it actually means. John 4, 25 and 26. Jesus is talking to the woman at the well. And the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. Ego, a me. I am he. Who is he? Well, the woman at the well tells us. She says, I'm waiting for the Messiah, the Christ. And Jesus said, I am he. Ego, I me. That's why Christians really have to start learning to read entire chapters. Because every time they see I am, they think he's claiming to be God. But in context, we clearly see that Jesus said, I am he. I am the Messiah you're waiting for. John 6, verse 19 and 20. So when they had rowed about 5 and 20 or 30 furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he, Jesus, said unto them, It is I, be not afraid. Again, ego, a me. Did Jesus say, I am God, don't be afraid? No, he said, It's me. Why did he say it? They were afraid. He was walking on the water, and they, they thought they see a ghost or anything. And Jesus comforted them by saying, Don't worry, it's me, Jesus. John 6, 35. I am the bread of life. Did Jesus say, God, God the bread of life? Or the existent one, the bread of life? When he said, Ego and me, the bread of life. Because Jesus explained us that he's the bread of life, because the words he speaks, you have to eat. John 8, 24. For if you believe not that I am he, ego I me, ye shall die in your sins. This is a verse I used to use as a Trinitarian to convince others that Jesus is God because he claimed it here and you have to believe he is God or you will die in your sins. But did Jesus say, if you do not believe that I am God, you will die in your sins? No, he said, if you do not believe that I am he, who died for your sins? Jesus died for your sins. Who died? The Messiah died. Therefore, if you don't believe that I am the Messiah, that I am really Him, the promised Messiah, you will die in your sins. John 9, 7-9 The story about the blind man. Go wash in a pool of Siloman. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seeing. The neighbors, therefore, and they which before had seen him, that he was blind, said, Is this not he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he, the blind man, said, I am, or I am he. Ego, a me. If ego a me means... I am God, or I am the existent being, then the blind man is telling us here that he is God. He did not say God, he simply said, I am. They were wondering if he really was that blind man, because they remember he was blind and now he can see. And he said, well, I, I am really him. I am he, ego, a, me. John 13, verse 18, 19. I speak not of you all, I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me 
had lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it come to pass, ye may believe I am he. Ego a me. It's talking about Judas. Judas was going to betray Jesus. And Jesus said it has to be done. Therefore, scripture will be fulfilled. And this is one of the things that they would believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the promised one, that you may believe that I am he. Ego a me. John 18, verse 5 to 8. Who do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. Ego a me. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then, as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let them go their way. So, who were they looking for? They were looking for Jesus. And he said, I am he. And they fell back to the ground. People say, well, the, because he was God. He said, I am. No, he, he did not say, I am God. He said, I am Jesus. And from the, a lot of power came out of him. They fell to the ground. Also in the end, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let them go the way. Jesus is saying, I told you, you're looking for me, you're looking for Jesus, I am him. Let the others go, you just come for me. Mark 13, 5 and 6. Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Ego Amy. Did everyone started to claim they are God now? No, many claimed that they were Christ. Don't be deceived. Many will claim that they are Christ. Right? Nothing to do with everyone is starting to claim they are God. Acts 10, 21. Listen to what Peter says here. Then Peter went down to the men which were sent unto him from Cornelius and said, Peter said, Behold, I am he whom you seek, ego a me. Peter is not claiming to be God. Peter said, ego a me, because they were looking for Peter. So there are a lot of instances. Peter said, ego a me. Paul said, ego a me. Jesus said, ego a me. The blind man said, ego a me. Ego a me just means I am he. So it's very important for uh, many Christians to really let go of the bias, of the lies they have told you. Because it is very important to believe in the Christ. Jesus said, believe in me. I believe also in God. You cannot just believe in God. You have to have a mediator. And that's our Messiah. The Messiah is our mediator between God and man.